Welcome to the IP Presence Commission. Today onwards, we'll start the a series of a new series of videos on particularly episode 2028. Okay, so uh, this channel related to the chemistry, that's why I'll upload the like a chemical science topics only. Okay, now uh, that is the special topics from episode. Okay, now today we are going to deal with uh, the lecture number one in special topics of episode that is but nothing but aromaticity. Okay, so the aromaticity I'll upload, I had uploaded the a series of videos on aromaticity in this channel. I, I'll give the those uh, those videos a link in my description box. You can watch over there. Okay. Now, after watching the aromaticity videos, you can solve the these previous year episode problems. These are previous year episode problems. Now, in this section, we will discuss the like a uh, previous year episode questions uh, solution. Okay. Let's move on to the question number one. Okay. So after watching my videos, you can solve the each and every question very directly and very simply within a, within a minute. Okay. Now let's move on to the first question that is AP set uh, 2012 question. This is the first question. So non-aromatic species among the following. They are given in the four options. Among the four, which is the non-aromatic? Which is the non-aromatic? Now here it is the like first one. Proline. Okay. Now we know that systems uh, uh, aromaticity it exhibits the like several types. One is aromatic. Anti aromatic, homo aromatic, non aromatic, like a quasi aromaticity. Aromaticity is nothing but 4n plus 2 pi electron system. Anti is 4n pi electronic system. Homo it having the one sp3 along with the like delocalization. Now non aromatic, any one of the it is lack of any one of the rule from aromatic or anti aromatic. Now they all are sp2 delocalized. Sp2 delocalized sp so here it is all our sp2 delocalization is also must and should so if it is a lack from any one of the any one of these th these re, uh, these uh, six rules now then it said to be non that is non aromaticity that is nothing but non aromaticity either if, if sp3 is present or planarity will be missed no planarity so these kind of molecules are comes under non aromaticity now let's move on to the Solution. Now this is the toline. Okay. Now in this example, so here it is the three pi bonds. That means a six pi electrons. Four n plus two pi electron system is nothing but a like a zero electrons, six electrons, ten electrons, like a fourteen electrons. Sorry, two electrons, six electrons, ten electrons, fourteen electrons. These are comes under four n plus two. So six electrons comes under four n plus two. So it obeys the four n plus two. All are sp two. Delocalization takes place. That's why it is aromatic. So this is the aromatic system now in the second second example so here it is the like a naphtha sulfonic acid here also five double bonds here it is five double bonds that means 10 electrons it is also comes under 4n plus 2 so that's why it is also aromatic it is also aromatic now the like a example number d that is the fourth uh, fourth example here it is only four electrons four electrons are comes under 4n pi electronic system we know that so 4 8 0 12 these are comes under foreign system foreign system is nothing but uh, anti aromatic okay now this option number c so this is the cycloocta tetrene cycloocta tetrene so cycloocta tetrene it is the original shape of molecule is like it is a tub shape it is a tub shape so due to the non planarity it is non aromatic due to the non planarity it is and aromatic so option number c is correct from 2012 episode question now let's move on to the another questions okay now the second question that is non aromatic compounds among the following so non aromatic is nothing but a, in a lack of any one any one rule from the aromatic or anti aromatic so now here it is the uh, a is according to our previous discussion it is the tub shape Tub is not a planar, so due to the non planarity, due to the non planarity, it is non aromatic. Okay, okay. Now, the second one it is the furan. So, here the lone pair of electrons, okay, the lone pair of electrons among the two lone pairs, only one lone pair is calculated. So, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 electrons, it is comes under 4n plus 4n plus 2 pi electronic system, then it is aromatic. So, furan is aromatic. Now, next one is I like it is quinoline. So here, here also it having the 10 electrons, 10 electrons comes under aromaticity, that is 4n plus 2, it is also aromatic, it is also aromatic. Now coming to the fourth example, so here 
So one lone pair is there. Those lone pair cannot attach to the double bond. That's why these lone pair of electrons are calculated here also. The lone pairs cannot attach to the uh, like uh, double bonds. The lone pair atom cannot directly attach to the double bonds. Then only it is possible to calculate the those lone pair of electrons in the aromatic role. Okay. Now here it is not attached to the any double bonds. That's why directly it is not attached attached to the any double bonds. That's why it is calculated. Two plus two four four plus two six six plus two eight. So eight electron. It comes under like a four n system. It comes under four n pi electronic system. That's why it is anti aromatic. That's why it is anti aromatic. So now according to the option, the correct combination is three and four. Okay. So three is aromatic. They are asking about non aromatic compounds among the following. So three and four. So Three is aromatic. That's why it is wrong. One and four. One is aromatic. Sorry, one is non-aromatic. Four is anti-aromatic according to our study. Okay. Now let's move. On. Let's keep aside. Uh, now here the option number C. So uh, two and four. So two is a B. So two and four. That means it is furan. And four is nothing but a uh, like a uh, it is anti-aromatic system. It is anti-aromatic system. So it is also wrong. Why? Because furan is uh, absolutely aromatic. Okay, now let's move on to the D. One and three. So one is non-aromatic, but three is aromatic. That's why it is also wrong. So due to the elimination process. So according to the our knowledge, one and four is correct. One and four is correct. Okay. So four is the anti-aromatic system, but according to the question, so one and four is correct option. One and four is correct option. Otherwise, only one is the correct option. Only one is the correct option. So these type of these kind of uh, small mistakes are. Uh, And generally absorbed in eight set examples. Okay, now let's move on to the question number third. Okay, now so identify the aromatic compounds. So they are given in the like uh, four options. So one is the system. So this is the system. Now here two electrons, two electrons, four electrons only. Positive means zero electrons. So you will watch my video. So directly they are given in the direct questions. Okay. Now here it is the sp2, sp2. But these two are sp3. Sp3 is that's why it is a non-aromatic. Okay. Now here four electrons. It comes under four n pi electronic system. That's why it is anti-aromatic. Anti-aromatic. Now next one is like a seven-membered ring. That is a tropelium anion. So tropelium anion. Here, this is three double bonds, six electrons. One double bond is nothing but two electrons. Totally eight electrons. It comes under four and five electronic system. It is anti-aromatic. It is anti-aromatic. The finally option number D. So this is the oxygen. Okay. So this is the system. So here the oxygen is still having the lone pair. But those lone pair cannot calculate in the delocalization. That is aromaticity rule. Why? Because so the oxygen atom, the oxygen lone pair containing atom, which is directly participated to the double bond. So that's why those lone pairs are perpendicular to the delocalized orbitals. That's why we cannot calculate those lone pair of electrons. So, uh, like a uh, lone pairs cannot calculate double bond, double bond, double bond, three double bonds, six pi electrons. That's why it is aromatic. It is aromatic. Okay. Now among the four, which is aromatic? Option number D is correct. So option D is aromatic system. So this is the 2014 question. So 2012 question, 2013 question, 2014 question. Now let's move on to the so another previous year question. Okay, guys. And these are the like a uh, 2017-2018 AP set questions. Now particularly aromaticity. So the Fourth question, that is 2017 question. Correct decreasing order of reactivity of the following compounds towards electrophile. Towards electrophiles. Now I'll upload the a special video on the hetero aromaticity in heterocyclic compounds. Okay. In that video, I'll give the like a complete uh, the resonance energy values also. Okay. So like a pyridine, this N N N indicates it is pyrrole. So the pyrrole energy is uh, like a 21. Furan, it is 18. Sulfur, that is 29. Benzene. Like a pyridine over here, pyridine that is two, benzene is thirty-six. Uh, so here the benzene atom is thirty-six. These are the resonance energies. Even uh, here it is the uh, furan is the least resonance energy. So that's why it is not gives the like a Diels-Alder reaction. Okay. Now here they are asking about uh, electrophilic order. That is a uh, 
towards the electrophilic uh, substitution reaction towards the electrophilic substitution reactions which one readily gives the electrophilic substitution reactions generally so among these three compounds less aromaticity less resonance energy or more reactivity okay that's why so among these two which is more reactive among these three which is the more reactive so generally fluorine is furan is the more reactive but here due to the presence of higher electronegativity atom furan is nothing but oxygen atom higher electronegativity so that's why it is lesser reactive than that of the nitrogen that is pyrrole is pyrrole is greater reactive than that of the furan then like thiophen so this is the electrophilic substitution order so this is the esr order electrophilic substitution reactivity order so then after so among these two benzene and pyridine so pyridine having the lesser uh, lesser resonance energy even though it is a less reactivity why because here the hetero atom present in the inside the ring that's why it re it reduces the the reactivity of uh, electrophilic substitution of pyridine so that's why benzene is more reactive than that of the pyridine so this is the general overall order of uh, heterocyclic compounds so they are given in the only four compounds among these five so the first of all pyrrole is more reactive so that is one one is more reactive then after furan they didn't give in the furan in, uh, in the options next is thiophene so uh, that is the uh, number three then after benzene and pyridine so benzene is more then it is a uh, fourth so the finally pyridine so this is the other so they are given in the like a four options like one three four two like one two three four uh, so those, those kind of options are given okay so among the four so these this is the correct one this is the correct one now let's move on to the fifth question okay now the next question is a 2018 question which one of the following is anti aromatic so we know that anti aromatic is nothing but a, like a system which obeys the 4n pi electronic system that is the anti aromatic so now here it is the now we know that 4n 4n plus 2 so 4n plus 2 it is 0 2 electrons okay now here 4 8 12 electrons these kind of systems are 4, 4n so now here 6 10 14 18 electron systems are uh, uh, like aromatic so these are the anti aromatic these are the aromatic now let us calculate the total number of electrons here it is the 10 electrons 10 electrons comes under 4n plus 2 that's why it is aromatic so this is wrong option okay the simple thing okay now here it is the two electrons four electrons even it having the four electrons which is uh, comes under 4n pi electronic system but it having the three sp3 carbon atoms three sp3 carbon atoms so due to the presence of sp3 it is non aromatic it is and aromatic but they are asking about anti-aromatic system so we know that this is the ejulene so ejulenes are more aromatic than that of the naphthalene we know that it, it should be blue thick intense in color okay now the final one this is also aromatic yeah. that's why it is not correct option now finally d so it having the four electrons four pi electrons that's why it obeys the four and pi electronic system so it is participated in the delocalization that's why it is the anti it is the anti-aromatic system it is the anti-aromatic system now let's move on to the 2018 in question number 41 i think it is 39 49 so they are given in the particular specific area only 39 and 41 so in between them they are given in the one aromaticity question the question is the correct order of acidic nature of the following compound so they are given they are asking in the acidic nature but our topic is aromaticity so here it is a, a, a little bit confusion is there acidic and the aromatic so generally so the compound which readily lowers their protons then it is acidic compound okay so that is the acidic definition so a, a compound is nothing but any one of the following five compounds any one of the compound which lowers their proton and it shown the more stable compound that is a more aromatic compound okay aromatic are more stable than the non-aromatic non-aromatic are more stable than the anti-aromatic like that so the more stable compound which is uh, uh, obtained from the abstraction of a proton obstruction of a proton a particular system then it is aromatic then it is aromatic now let's move on to the one by one so first one is so this is the system here it is the uh, proton abstraction takes place that's why here it is a tropelium anion it's a tr tropelium anion it having the eight electrons so eight electrons is nothing but a anti-aromatic system so the first one is anti-aromatic we know that so anti-aromatic systems are unstable okay so the last the loss of a proton will give the unstable compound that's that's why it cannot lose their proton that indicates it cannot lose their protons it is the least acidic it is the least acidic so one is the least acidic 
Now let us uh, conclude that one is the least acidic option A is wrong, option A is wrong. Now let us move on to the remaining options. So second one we know that this is the cyclopentadiene. Cyclopentadiene will have like a abstraction of a proton from cyclopentadiene which produces the like cyclopentadienyl anion. So the cyclopentadienyl anion is aromatic. Why? Because here it follows the 4n plus 2 pi electronic system. So it is aromatic. That is why it readily loses their protons. Now there are given in the like a third, fourth, fifth, all are the cyclopentadienyl systems only. All are the cyclopentadienyl systems. So all the cyclopentadienyl systems which produces the cyclopentadienyl anion. But so the pKa values of cyclopentadiene. This is fluorinyl. Okay, these are the compounds. These are the. This is the like uh, cyclopentadiene, indine, fluorinyl, indine, fluorinyl. Okay, so the fluorinyl compound, indine compound, cyclopentadiene compound. Generally, it is the aromatic. It is also aromatic whenever it loss of their proton. Here also it is aromatic. So now, due to the like more resonating structure, it is more more aromatic. That is our assumption. But it is still it is wrong. Okay, so these two are the like uh, the more stabilization of the resonance. So it cannot lose their protons rapidly. So that's why here we will observe the pKa values like this 15, 20, 23. So the more pKa value, less acidic. So the more less pKa value, more acidic. Less pKa value, more acidic. So among the based on the pKa values, so cyclopentadiene is more acidic than that of the indine. So indine is more acidic than that of the fluorine. Indine is the more acidic than that of the fluorine. So one is the least. So that's why, so first option is eliminated. The remaining options, among the four, cyclopentadiene is uh, more stable. Cyclopentadiene is more stable. That's why, so second is more stable. Then, uh, then that option, uh, let us look at the, like a fifth option. Fifth option, it produces the, like a cyclopentadiene as well as benzyl carbonyl. The benzyl carbonyl, it is more stable. That's why after the second, so third is the more stable. After the second, sorry, it is five is the, fifth one is the more stable. So then after the fifth, so here it is the competition like indine and uh, like uh, fluorinyl. So indine and fluorinyl, indine is the more stable due to the its pKa value. So the fourth one is more stable than that of the like uh, fourth and third. So which is the more stable? So second, fifth, first is the least. Now then after fourth and third, fourth and third. So among the four options, which is correct? So second and fifth, second and fifth, fourth, third, one fourth third one option d is correct option d is correct this is the simple way explanation of uh, aromatic compounds now let's move on to the final 2019 episode questions okay now these are the 2019 episode questions this is the question number seven and eight okay so 2019 episode questions so the first question is the correct statement about the following species on based on the aromaticity. So among these two, which is the uh, among the four options, which is the correct regarding to the first and two labeled compounds. Okay, now we know that the compounds. So the first one is both under one and two are and uh, non aromatic. One is aromatic, anti aromatic, not aromatic, aromatic. Both are aromatic. Now let's move on to the like solution. This is the system. Three double bonds, two double, uh, two uh, like uh, dianions. Simply, it is nothing but minus two. Now another system is positive, positive. This is the system. Now here six pi electrons and four uh, like dianion electrons. Totally ten electrons. Here six pi electrons, zero uh, carbocation electrons. Totally six electrons. So four uh, six and ten both are the obes four n plus two pi electronic system. So, if it obeys the 4 n pi electronic system, that indicates it is participated in the delocalization. Okay, now here minus 2 minus plus 2 indicates participated in the delocalization. So, delocalization, delocalization, 4 n plus 2 system. So, 4 n plus 2 delocalization will lead to the planarity. So, that's why both these systems obeys the 4 n plus 2 rule. All are sp2, all are, are participated in the delocalization, all are the planar molecule. That's why these two are aromatic. Okay, so 10 electrons aromatic, 6 electrons aromatic. So that's why statement 4 is correct. Statement 4 is correct. Now, let's move on to the like uh, final question of the session. So, this is the very pretty interesting question. Okay, this is given in 2019 episode. Okay, now choose the correct option, uh, correct option that gives the aromatic compound as a major product. 
okay among the four reactions which one gives the aromatic product which one gives the aromatic product they are given in the four reactions and the four options okay now uh, among the four we know that uh, some of the specific reactions so let us discuss the, those specific reactions it is very helpful to eliminate the answers okay now the fourth one we know that the benzene treated with chlorine under uv light so it will use the like uh, hexachlorobenzene hcl 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 so benzene hexachloride simply it is nothing but gamma acid benzene hexachloride so this is the fourth reaction now third reaction we know that so here br in presence of base it it produces the like a it produces the simple anti aromatic system it produces the simple anti aromatic why because you had the loss of proton which leads to the like a formation of double bonds now the first one we know that this is the favorite compound so base which produces the like cyclopentadienyl anion okay now here there is no pi bond that's why it is not an aromatic it is not aromatic not aromatic now here four electrons it is anti aromatic four electron anti aromatic here six electrons six electrons it obeys the four and plus two pi electronic system that's why it is aromatic okay now and the finally second one so it forms the koh it, it leads to the formation of cyclic compound in presence of na and h2 it 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 forms the double bond in the cyclopropene ring so double bond cyclopropene ring under the red hot tube it produces the cation so that is the aromatic in nature so second one is the aromatic okay so first and second are aromatic so according to the options so now we know that fourth is the not aromatic that's why a and d is not why because one and the, the, the a and d having the both having the fourth option the fourth option is not aromatic that's why a and d is wrong so now the remaining two b and c 1 and 2 are 1 and 3 so 3 is it, it is um, simply it is anti aromatic finally a is aromatic that's why 1 and 2 are aromatic option number b is correct 1 and 2 are aromatic option number b is correct so that's all for this video so this video contains some um, like a 2012 to 2019 all the ap set question paper regarding to the aromatic uh, regarding to the aromaticity topic okay so it is very very pretty easier topic in ap set you will get the two to four marks from ap set direct questions from the aromaticity if you watch the videos of my aromaticity lectures so definitely you will get the two to four marks okay that's all for this video this contains uh, like um, uh, 2012 to 2019 episode okay so today onwards i'll upload the daily videos on episode okay if you like the video please share like and subscribe the channel so this is very helpful for episode chemistry if you have any like uh, if you if you know the your friends please share to your friends it is a uh, very helpful to your friends also thank you so much for watching